when and how to flip your silver for a profit. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate you watching my channel. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like. Hit the bell too. You know, that way you'll see when my next video pops up and you won't miss out. So anyway, when and how to flip your silver for a profit. This is a popular topic right now. You'll see videos popping up, especially because of the American Silver Eagle V75 World War II coin that the U.S. Mint just released. We all know what went on with the U.S. Mint. I'm not going to talk about that. But flipping your silver, buying it when it's cheap, selling it when it's expensive or in demand is not a bad thing to do. Now, I'm not a flipper stacker by nature. Okay, you know that if you watch my channel at all. I'm a prepper stacker, mostly. I mean, I I love my constitutional silver. I love my you know American silver eagles, silver maples, government minted silver bullion, right? Um, also gold, but we're gonna talk about silver more today. Occasionally I'll get around. I've gotten bars before, but I, I, I'm not big into bars. Uh, I do have some fun stuff. My silver ice cream cones, as I like to call them, that's a rarity. That's definitely something special. But my stacking is focused around those three things. And I'm stacking to keep my silver, not to sell it. Now, that's not the same as flipping in my book. When I flip something that's uh, in demand, I'm looking to gain more funds, more money to buy more of the core silver and gold that I stack. So there's a means to an end. It's part of my strategy. I've done it before. Uh, the, my big flip, my very first big flip, I should say, was the Palladium Proof back in 2018. That was fun. I netted around $700 profit for that. And I do like to use eBay to sell whatever item it is that I'm trying to flip. I know Facebook Marketplace and other sites are good too, but I want as many eyes as I can get. And I'm willing to let you know eBay and PayPal take their cut in order to get that. So I use eBay primarily. I'd love to see a bidding war come up, but you know that, that's the uh, platform of choice for me when I'm trying to flip my silver. So how do I do it? Well, I monitor the U.S. Mint's product schedule. You probably do too. You know, I look for items that are uh, lower mintage and potentially have a higher interest. I'm talking about iconic products that have well-known images, like an American Silver Eagle or American Gold Eagle. I'd like to try to get something that's maybe the first or the last of something. And I tend to stay away from the more... Uh, unique uh, commemorative coins and medals, okay? It doesn't mean you can't flip those and make a profit, but like the uh, end of World War II, 75th anniversary silver and gold medals that came out, that might make you a little bit of a profit there, but that's most likely because of its being a World War II memorabilia item, right? They have uh, a higher demand, it seems. So you really have to Take your time and evaluate what you think might become a hot item. And when it comes to timing your flip, my thought is this. I think it's best to flip it earlier rather than later. Don't wait a long time because the demand can diminish quickly. Don't focus so much on what the spot price is. There's a lot of premium involved here. Spot doesn't matter as much. Okay, so if you get a hot item, Try to get rid of it quickly. And when it comes to waiting, that's one of the reasons why I don't grade my uh, flipping items. I don't know, maybe sometimes you can do that and get more money, but I like to flip things quick. I don't wanna wait to send something out and hope it comes back at a high grade. Quite frankly, I don't buy into the whole mo grading of modern bullion coins in general anyways. So I, I really avoid uh, grading. Now, you you can disagree me on with that on, you know, in the comments below. Please feel free to do that. If you like to grade it, I want to hear what you have to say about that, but that's not my style. Also, when you're looking for a uh, decent price to set on an item that you're trying to flip, okay, 
check out what actually sold, okay? When you go to eBay, you can click sold items. You want to see what that item sold for, not what it's posted for, okay? Sometimes those are crazy numbers. And a lot of times they're offered a lot less and you'll see that you know the, the, the seller took a buyer's offer when he sold it. Now, of course, one of the reasons why this is such a hot topic right now is because of the end of World War II, 75th anniversary American Gold and Silver Eagle. I tried. I really did. That was one where I saw the mintage. I knew it was an iconic type of coin. I mean, it's American Gold and Silver Eagle, right? I could see already on eBay that people were ready to flip this thing. And I said, okay, I got to get in on it. Well, I didn't get it. I tried. I had it in my cart. You know the whole story, right? Didn't get it. Or did I? A gentleman by the name of Tom sent me an email out of the blue. He said, hi, Yankee. Did you ever get the V75 Silver Eagle? I just got mine today. The coin looks beautiful. But I'm not really a fan of proofs. Too much worry about messing it up. I am more of a bullion guy. Well, Tom, I am too. Okay, love my bullion. He said, if you did not get one and are planning to get one on the secondary market, you can have mine. This is where my heart skipped a beat. He said, I really appreciate your praying with Yankee videos. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked out my live stream, uh, Praying with Yankee, I do that the first Sunday of every month uh, in the evening. It's a wonderful time. I don't talk about precious metals. There's no super chatting going on or anything. It's just a, a wonderful time of prayer. Please check it out. We'd love to have you join us. I have a lot of people on. People can just you know put in prayer requests, whatever they want. It's just it's just special. But evidently, Tom joined us on one of the past uh, live streams. He said it will change many lives, and it is a true measure of a man. I appreciate that, Tom. So he goes on. If it is not that important to you, I am sure I can find another home for it. Please let me know. Well, I was just stunned by that. I reached out to him. I said, no, unfortunately, I didn't get it. Uh, it's really hard, but I'm so glad you did. And he said, seriously, um, do you want it? I can send it out tomorrow to the address on your YouTube channel. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you really giving this to me? I mean, come on. let me at least you know, pay you what you spent. He said, if you want, yes. But remember, grace is free. I would rather someone have it that wants it. I almost didn't even try for it but because I didn't want to deprive someone who wanted it. Can you believe this? Unbelievable generosity. He said, I changed my mind because I may be able to bless someone who didn't get it. He said, you have blessed so many people that I would be honored to donate it to you as a gift. Just keep doing what you're doing. And here it is. Oh, man. End of World War II, 75th anniversary, American Eagle. Oh, my word. Now, another lesson really quick. If you are going to flip, okay, any silver and gold that comes from the U.S. Mint, you need to be very careful on how you handle the product. You don't want to unwrap it from its original uh, you know, packaging. Uh, usually, uh, when you put that up on eBay, you want to say unopened in original packaging. Uh, it flips best, I should say, when it's not open. Now, <laughs> with such an amazing gift from Tom, I don't feel right. Yay, grabbing it and sending it off and flipping it on eBay. Now, I, I know that is the reason why I was trying to get this coin because I wanted to flip it. But this is a different circumstance completely. This is a memento of the generosity of our YouTube community, and I am not going to flip it. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to remember what Tom did. I'm going to be very grateful and very thankful. Wow. 
and just revel in such a beautiful coin. Yes, definitely um, <laughs> don't take it out of its package unless you're going to keep it. Look at that. Now, I'm no professional grader. I don't know what this would grade for. It probably would grade rather high. I'm just taking a quick, quick brief look. I don't see any noticeable markings on the field or on any of the... Um, objects here so I think yeah this would this would definitely grade at least a 69 man wow oh there it is the V <laughs> let me zoom in because this is exciting to me a V 75 right there wow you know the history of the American Silver Eagle this design is iconic it never ever changes that's what's so amazing about it so when they put something that special on it i mean it, it's a it's a must-have right so man this again is not my normal item to purchase I, I this would be quite the silver ice cream cone for yankee but this is a phenomenal flip and i know right now on ebay it's going 400 plus dollars but Tom, no, th this, this is too precious, too, too special. And I'm not going to flip it. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed my uh, discussion on flipping. If you have other aspects of flipping that you think are important to remember, please, again, leave a comment down below. All of us are edified by that. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. I got it.